Hello YouTube. Welcome to a tutorial on building Battleship, the console game for Code Sculptor. We shall systematically analyze the code that I've written here on Code Sculptor, and while doing so, let's learn some new things. Now, Battleship is a game where you try to guess the opponent's ship location and try to sink it. Meanwhile, your opponent also makes a guess and tries to sink your ship. Let's first look at the output of this program. I'll run it and it's asking me to choose the opponent. Let's choose Scott Isner. And it's asking me to pick two random numbers. Let me say, let me pick two and three. And uh, your opponent will try to guess this number. Um, the number of turns, let's say it's three. And uh, now it's asking me to pick two random numbers for the location. Let's say two and three. And Scott Risner chooses 0 and 4. It wasn't 2 and 3 which we had picked, so let's say no. And for the turn 2, let's pick uh, like 3 and 1. And oh man, Scott Risner chose the right option. So we should say yes, he was right. <laughs> and Scott Risner says, My lucky try did the trick. Wanna play again? No. <laughs> Okay, so that's the output um, that we are going to expect from this program. Okay, now that we've seen the output, let's dive right into the code. You are excited now, aren't you? Okay, let's see the first line of the code, the imports we have taken. We have said from random import randint. Now this might be um, new to some of you. Let me explain how this works. We are importing a particular function from a big bigger module. Okay, let me take an example here. If we say import math and I want to calculate the square root of a number 4, I would say math dot square root of 4. Print math dot square root of 4. Let's run this program, it says 2.0. But if I remove this math dot from here, it says square root is not defined. But what if I want this? square root of 4 to be called as I've done it now. I can say I'm using shift K, control K and control shift K here to comment and uncomment. Let's say from math import square root. When I do this, I'm importing this square root function from a math module. From math, I'm importing square root. So now I can say print square root of 4. Let's run this program. It says 2.0. It works very really well. Okay. So that's how we have done. We have taken the random module and from that we have imported the randint function. Next, I'm making an empty list for the board. And I'm setting it to these two open brackets. So that's an empty list. And to this list, I'm appending a lot of O's, which will end up looking like this. And I'll show you how this is done in a moment. And I'm using a for loop to do this. Recently, we have come across a dot append function in the Coursera course. I've used that here. I've said for x in range 5. When I say range 5, uh, the output will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this for loop will run 5 times. And for 5 times, it will append this character okay um, let me take uh, another code and explain this better for you saying this um, character into five times is equal to writing this whole list here so if i have board one and board two and i write this in a for, for loop where i multiplied it by five and i write another for loop where i've written the whole thing itself both will be the same see both are the same after that, I have declared a dictionary here. This is the list of opponents which I'm using. One refers to computer, two refers to Scott Risner, three Joe Warren, and four John Greener. I could have used a list here too, but for list, the index starts from zero. But I wanted um, the index to start from one here, so Python dictionary was a better choice. And then I have set two more dictionaries for. Uh, 
replying for a miss and replying for a win and I have a couple of options here these are the options that I put in and I'll show you how I use it later on so after this let's start from line 117 it says print intro uh, we'll come to know why I say print intro uh, later on when when I say print intro the intro function will be called let's say what the intro function has it has this nice um, battleship ASCII art so I've used doc type uh, codes to print this I'll show you something here if I have uh, something like this this is a piece of text and I run the program it prints out fine but if I want to print something like this is multiple line of text and I put it in just single quotes I mean or double quotes it throws me an error bad token now to solve this issue I can use doc types these are doc type quotes if I put three quotes like that then I can write multiple lines without having to worry about closing the quotes and it will print out just fine now we saw how doc type can be doc type quotes can be used to print something fancy like that in ASCII art so what happens after that it says uh, let's play battleship and the new game function is called let's see where this takes us to this takes us into this whole big function here where everything is happening in the first line I'm printing choose your opponent and I'm giving the player the options and then I'm using a while loop note that Python doesn't have a do while loop uh, so we'll have to use something like this to emulate a do while loop I'll say while true uh, opponent choice and I'm using int of input enter your choice so this must be new to some of you input what what this function does is it puts out this string in a nice box like this see enter your choice and and then returns whatever the user types as a string and I want the op choice variable to be an integer so I'm wrapping it inside this int okay let me demonstrate this better if there is a text variable like this and I say input enter text and there is a number variable and I say int of input enter text and then I print those so for the text I write mm, code sculpture and for another text I'll write uh, this will be stored for the number I'll say like 19 now you can see that when I print it out uh, the text variable is of type string and number variable is of type int and the text is code sculptor number is 19 so as you can see that the input function here returns a string and I've wrapped it into an integer to convert whatever string I got into an integer note that you can't give something like you can give number for the string for the first number and again number it will print out like this but still the text is a string and number is of type int but I can't do something like hey and something hey it will throw me an error because you can't convert hey into an int by using this int function now that we know how the input function works let's move on further then I'm checking if the op choice variable is less than 1 or greater than 4 because the user might enter some other choice which is not in this range so if that happens I say choice doesn't exist try again else I'll break from there when I say break well I'm in a loop it always comes out of the loop the control comes out of the loop since I was in this while loop I came out of that loop then I print pick two random numbers x and y of range 0 to 5 then your opponent will try to guess it then I'm asking for the turns and I'm storing it in the turns variable then I'm defining this helper function to 
pick a random number for the opponent okay so this can be done in two ways let us see the first way I'm defining a helper function here random row and I'm passing board to it board is what we have made over here the list and I'm returning rand int of 0 comma length of the board minus 1 and I can say ship row is equal to random row of board and it will return a random number from 0 to 4 and store it in ship row this can be done directly like this too but using a helper function will make everything look simpler then this is just a debug code uh, if I want to print the ship row and ship column uh, to check if it's in the right range alright enough of those beginner stuff now let's dive into the meat of the code now this is where everything is happening so this whole thing is inside a for loop so that goes like this for turn in range turns so turns will be an integer and to that range of integers um, each item in that turn uh, in that range will be taken and stored in this particular turn variable and this turn variable will be accessible inside this whole for loop so I'm printing um, extra blank line here then I'm calling a function called print board of board now this will take the control um, and put us in this place okay print board what this is doing is for row in board print uh, two quotes and uh, space between it dot join of row now this also must be new to some of you so let me explain how that works so if I have a board and I enter all this variable just like I've shown earlier and then I print the board you can see that it gets printed in one line like that up to there so if I wanted to print to be printed in multiple lines I can say something like for item in board print item that would print multiple lines of all those lists like this but that's not what I want I want to remove these codes and remove these brackets and stuff then um, I can do this for item in board print this um, quotes and a space between it dot join item what that does is it joins all the elements inside this uh, particular list and prints out neatly for us like this so we can do something like print uh, these two lines and dot join of item that would print something like this and then after that I'm printing this line each time and that would print me something like this now that we know how our print board function works let's get back to where we were then we are printing the turns then we are asking for the user's guess and we're storing it in guess row and guess column and if the guess row is equal to the computer's guess um, i mean the computer's location ship row and ship column we are saying that the player wins otherwise uh, if the location is out of range we say that it's not even in the ocean otherwise if he has already guessed it we say that he has done that or else we say that he missed the battleship and then we print out the opponent's choices and if that was right um, then we give out the replies which he would give like we are using this dictionary to print that um, otherwise we say if he misses it we take something from the reply miss dictionary and then if the turns are over we say game over and we ask if, if the user wants to play again um, if he doesn't want to play again then we are returning from there and that will bring us back to the intro function and and then we return thank you from there and that's why we are printing the intro function call um, at the end we'll print thank you now feel free to modify the code and when you do that uh, please put, post back a link to that uh, in the comments down below and thanks for watching a rating would be much appreciated and I will see you next time.